Do you have to be kind of on guard against intimate relationships that you develop with women so that they don't cross um, into being romantic in the same sure. way that I wouldn't want to yeah. have a like exclusive relationship with a woman as a married man? Or Absolutely. So I think it's really important community, right? Like why are those within the Catholic church, why are those who are called to the single life living in community? Well, because we're built for it. God said, as we talked about before, it's not good that man be alone. So what does that look like for me? Well, right now, I don't feel called. I've tried the uh, <clears throat> sister who a lot of different um, religious orders just won't call me back. <laughs> so I don't think I quite have the entrance there. And I, I don't feel that that's necessarily the call in my life, yeah. at least in this season. Um, but in that, so what does it now look like for me? So I am very aware, like, Lord, okay, maybe I'm not physically intimate with another woman, but guard my heart. Am I going yeah. to another woman or another man mm -hmm. to fill a void that only you can fulfill? Right? Like, yeah. and I pray we all do that. And, right, and, and honestly, that could even be with husbands and wives. No, so, as a married man, I yeah. have to make that prayer. Like I know the times, and I'm sure my wife experiences the times when I look to her yeah. mm -hmm. and she's fully aware that she cannot give me what yeah. God can. So or now vice versa. I think the difference is, is you can have like close relationship and not really have a lot of like you know, fear around that or as much to whereas like, if I get close with someone, they're like, oh, is that like dangerous? And I'm like, could you please just chill out? Like I, I yeah. fear right now, I lived a very fearful relationship with God yeah. and, and he used that. But first John 4, 18, for perfect love. And we know that God is love, not love is love. Shoe is not shoe, right? <laughs> um, so God is love. So perfect love casts out fear. And the man who still fears is not yet perfected in love for fear has to do with punishment. Mm. And so the place I'm at in my life right now is as I'm learning, right. And, and trying to remain moldable in the Lord's hands, I don't want to be afraid of closeness and intimacy. That's healthy and holy. I want to be aware and I want to grow, but I lived for, for many <sighs> years, like after that, October 17, 2014, I was like, I can't really get close to anyone. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just pushed people away. Mm -hmm. And I realized I was kind of like becoming holy in an isolated way. And I'm like, super loving, caring, but don't let me outside. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm so holy. I'm not tempted. Okay. Well, where's the woman you're attracted to? Oh, I don't, I blocked her. I did it, you know? Yeah. And so I think it's a, it's a growth and a process. Um, but I, I do ask the Lord, like, keep me sensitive to anybody that's trying to fill a void that only you can ultimately fulfill, even mm -hmm. though it doesn't look like it used to, I know it can still look like something. And so I think that's something to be aware of, but I pray that it doesn't remain from a fear-based, but more of like, you are perfect loved and you, you want to fill me, God. So it's actually like more of like the catechism, how it teaches mm -hmm. the healthy fear of the Lord, not afraid of him or afraid of punishment or sin, but afraid of offending him. Like he's given himself fully to me. Lord, I want to receive that. And if in any way I'm letting someone else block the fullness that you want to fill me to, can you show me that? Mm -hmm, and then, mm -hmm. then teach me how to walk in that. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.